I'm going to open a browser to, let me go to Marriott.com. Marriott.com. I spend a lot of time in hotels. I travel a lot. So this is a company that has hotels all over the world. And they basically say, come to us if you need a hotel in New York or San Francisco or Seattle. It is in their best interest to make it easy for you to find a hotel. So I'm going to go to Seattle, Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to click the button that says, show me all the hotels in Seattle. Now, they have a whole list of hotels. But when they give you a, a hotel and they say, Second Avenue or Madison Street, and I'm going, um, where's Madison Street in Seattle? Because I don't live in Seattle. So they actually have a link that says, show me a map. And I like maps because then I can figure out what's going on. But the folks at Marriott are not in the mapping business. They don't create maps. And when somebody builds a subdivision and builds new roads and they rename a road, they, so they're going to outsource it. And they offer a connection to a web service. Now, according to the lower left corner of this map, it's from Microsoft Bing. So Marriott sends data to Microsoft going, I need a map of Seattle. And here's what I want you to put on it. Hotel, 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 hotel. And Microsoft goes, sure, here's your data. So a web service is a function call, a program call, but it's not really intended for humans. The data going back is just data. There's no center it and make it bold. So it's a Marriott's web server makes a, hold it a second, I'm going to call Microsoft, get some information. Takes the information, puts it on its web page and goes, ta-da, here's your map. Okay. So a web service is a call to a function. And the secret to web services is it's data. Data I send you, data I get back. Now, I'm going to open a second web service here. I'm going to go to www.worldbank.org. And the World Bank has terabytes full of data. If you want to find out the education levels for the last 10 years for the entire uh, Asian continent, you can do that. They've got terabytes full of data. And they have a web service. And you can query their web service online. Uh, let's see here. Let's go bring a, a data call. I would like the answer in English. Thank you. I would like to look at the country of United Arab Emirates. I would like to find the total, well, let me access to energy. From 1960 to 2014, let's find out how the United Arab Emirates population had access to energy. Okay. <clears throat> now, so what you've got here is you've got data. This is data from the World Bank. This happens to be a REST-style web service. The Bing's mapping is a SOAP-style web service. If you needed to put this kind of data on your web page, you can make a call to the World Bank, get the data, put it on your web page. It's encouraged to put credits to the World Bank. But there it is. There's the electricity access percent of population. In 1996, 2% 2 of the population in the United Arab Emirates had access to electricity. Wow.